So hello and welcome. Uh, this is the Oxford Renewables introduction to the Octa Plus video where we will be showing you all the major components of a solar focus Octa Plus. This is a boiler which is available in three sizes. We've got the 10 kilowatt model which is exactly the same size as the 15 kilowatt model and we also have the 22 kilowatt model which is ever so slightly larger but not so as you could notice. The boiler is a uh, very specific type of boiler, in fact it's uh, one of the only kind on the market which actually combines a buffer store, which is a large vessel of hot water, and the boiler. They've actually been pushed into one, so the burn actually occurs inside the buffer store. This means that the biomass system as a whole has a very small footprint. The boiler itself is less than a metre wide, and um, not much deeper than 1.5 meters. But you do need a bit more space to install the thing because obviously you need to be able to move around it to, to install it and uh, to service it. So let's carry on and go through the parts of the boiler. So the first thing to notice is the touch screen. This is where we communicate with not only the boiler but also the rest of the heating system. So we can see other parts of the heating system here and uh, change the date and the time and uh, language etc. The external door is one piece and by opening it we can see the internal hopper which is the reservoir of fuel that the boiler uses whilst it's burning. It will never fill itself while it's burning. By turning on this vacuum turbine which sounds very much like a hoover it actually sucks the fuel into the machine. So if I shut the door briefly, you'll see the two hoses that are required to fill up. We have one hose which will deliver the fuel to the boiler and the other hose which is the return air hose back to the store. In homes which have very low heat losses, then the requirement for fuel is never that great, so it is possible to install a manually fed store like this one. This boiler is actually a room sealed appliance which means that it draws its combustion air from outside the building. Again, a very important feature when you're building a very low energy uh, house. So continuing inside the boiler, we've covered the um, internal hopper. We've got a door switch here. We've got the uh, combustion chamber door. Now never open this when the boiler is running. That's very important. You must always keep this closed. Even if you feel there's a problem with the boiler, you should switch the boiler off and wait for it to carry out its shutdown sequence before you open this door. So if we open this door, we can see if we peer inside, there's the grate and in the chamber beneath this door this is actually the ash chamber and it's here that the products of combustion, the solid products of combustion fall down and collect in this chamber whereupon a um, motor, a geared motor turns a wheel inside here and the ash will fall through into the ash box so there's very little to do uh, when cleaning this boiler and uh, I'll come to that very shortly. So the components at the back of the boiler comprise the induced draft fan. Again, this only induces the airflow through the boiler and it's very important that the flue is adequately sized and designed such that it provides a permanent natural draft for the products of combustion to be dealt with. Uh, again, the boil the flue should have a sweeping access, as it's very important that the flue is kept clean at all times of the year. We suggest a, a biannual sweep, but uh, your professional chimney sweep may suggest that it once a year is sufficient. Um, beyond that, there's not too much for the end user to concern themselves with, but one message to the plumber, and that is the return connection from the heating system is the second one up from the bottom. 
it's the bottom inch tapping which should be used as a drain cock. We're now looking side on at the boiler and we can see here this is the buffer tank 550 litres it has a solar coil connection at the bottom so it's possible to connect a solar thermal system to this tank it also has the facility to connect an immersion heater so that in the summer should you wish you could stop burning pellets and uh, produce your hot water via the immersion heater. Um, the other important part to note round here is very unlikely but should the boiler ever experience an over temperature event then this is where you find the reset button. Take the black cap off revealing the green button on inside and you'd need to press that down with a biro or a, a stick or, or some small implement. Here is the solar coil connection.